All right, folks, Rich Van Tessel with you. I know it's Friday, but I couldn't stay up after that weather delay to watch the end of the Packers-Bears game, so we'll give you the recap of it right now. Uh, I didn't watch most of it, so basically I'm just going to give you the box score and what I think moving forward. Mike Lennon, 21-33, 218 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Jordan Howard, 18 carries, 53 yards, 2.9 yards per rush. Benny Cunningham, 5 carries for 26 yards. That's 5.2 yards per rush. The team altogether was 30 carries, 103 yards, 3.4 yards per rush. Tariq Cohen was 6 of 24. The one touchdown was Jordan Howard's. Kendall Wright, top receiver, 4 for 51. One touchdown, Zach Miller, 2 of 45. Deontay Thompson, 5 of 44. Mike Glennon lost two fumbles, so he had four turnovers. Let's see if this is the end of him and Mitchell Trubisky gets the start. Pernell McPhee and Leonard Floyd, nice to see Leonard Floyd coming along. Both had sex. No interceptions. Deontay Thompson had a 27-yard kick return. Benny Cunningham had a 25-yard kick return. Tariq Cohen, two punts returns of seven yards. Connor Barth missed his only field goal for the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers, 18-26, 179 yards, four touchdowns, no interceptions. Aaron Jones was the top rusher in this game. 13 carries, 49 yards, that's 3.8 yards per rush. Ty Montgomery did have 5.6 yards per rush on five carries for 28 yards, but it was only five carries. Jamal Williams, four for, four for 11. The team 24 91, 3.8 yards per rush, one touchdown. Now, that, that did include a kneel down. It looks like it was a minus one yard rush by Aaron Rodgers. I'm assuming it's a kneel down, which made it 24 for 92, or would have made it 23 for 92, which is four yards per carry. Um, so, whatever, you have two for four guys that were taking Rodgers out of it who ran the ball for four yards per carry. Not bad. I still think the running game has to be better. Jordan Nelson, four receptions, 75 yards, two touchdowns. Randall Cobb, four for 44, one touchdown. Six of 39 for Martellus Bennett. Devontae Adams, two of 13, one touchdown. Jake Ryan, Blake Martinez, both recovered fumbles. The team only had one sack, was Clay Matthews. Kentrell Bryce and HaHa -Ha Clinton Dix both had interceptions. Trevor Davis, a five-yard punt return. Mason Crosby did not attempt any field goals. So Green Bay getting the win. I thought it might be closer than it was. Uh, again, I did not see much of this game. I was watching a little bit in the half, then it went to the weather delay, and I just said enough. Uh, Mike Lennon, you know, I think this would be it for him. I don't like how Chicago handled that situation at all. It doesn't make sense to get Mike Lennon just to draft a guy like Trubisky in the second round. So... That's a little confusing to me that they decided to take it that route. But he's turning the ball over. You know, he has Trubisky looking over his shoulder, so that's going to be a problem. So we'll see what happens moving forward. I don't know when Chicago has their bye week. If it's soon, I would assume that uh, Mitchell Trubisky would be warming up after that. So, I look, yeah, they have their bye week this week. And then they uh, come back with the Vikings on Monday Night Football, so even an extra day to get things going. So I wouldn't be surprised if Mitchell Trubisky is getting the start for the Green Bay Packers. I still think they have to run the ball more time. Montgomery is not a running back, but um, you know they had that Aaron Jones guy run tonight, so we'll see what happens moving forward. But they really got to start establishing that run game. Like we said, it was right at about four yards per carry, but uh, Ty Montgomery, five carries for 28 yards. He can do things like that. But I want to keep an eye on that as well. All right, tomorrow, Saturday, we will give you the uh, preview of that week four of the NFL season. Be sure to stay tuned for that. And remember, we appreciate all subscriptions. Thank you.